Hey campers, there's a common problem that a lot of people run into when they try to run their portable generator with a surge protector on their RVs. And it's a problem of the floating ground within these portable generators. The surge protector is going to pick up an open ground and it's not going to allow power to the RV. But there's a very, very simple way around it. That'll cost you about two dollars and it's just a matter of grounding the uh, connecting the ground and the neutral together and that's what this video is about it's a simple way to do it uh, you can probably buy these things for 45 50 bucks online or you can go to Lowe's and do what I did for about two dollars but uh, anyway if you ever have this issue or wondering why your generator won't power your RV with a surge protector, you may be interested in this video. Okay, so we're going to make a neutral ground bonding plug. And I'm using this little gizmo that I bought for about two, three bucks from, from Lowe's yesterday. It's not the perfect thing because it's going to have a little hole in it. This is just going to plug into the generator like that and it's going to bond the neutral and the, and the ground together in the, in the generator and that way your surge protector will not see that open circuit and that's what this is all about. So the only critical thing is that we make sure, we know this green is ground, but we're not real sure which one's hot. We need to tie the green to the ground. So I need to know for sure which one of these is ground. Now it doesn't look like it's color coded. Sometimes you have a yeah you do. This theoretically should be hot. It's the gold one. The silver one is usually ground. Let's find out though for sure because we don't we can't afford to make that mistake. We're gonna find out. Now we know this is ground, there's no doubt about that. So if I get voltage here, then that's my hot. If I get voltage here, that's my hot. Okay, so we know this is, this is hot. This is the hot one, this is the neutral. So these two right here need to be tied together in the neutral bonding uh, plug, okay? So that means that means this one and this one, correct? Which also corresponds to the silver lug versus the gold lug. So all we need to do now is take a piece of wire, jump it from here to here, close it back up, and we're ready to put it in the generator. And it's going to be that simple. So let's give it a try and see. Okay, so let's go ahead and build this plug now. So, all we need to do now is just take this little piece here and we're going to ground that's we definitely don't want to we don't want to put it on this one for sure. So we're going to put it in this one. And we're going to tighten that one down. Hold it in there. Nice and snug. Okay. All right, so there's one part of it. Make it nice and tight. We want it tight. Okay. Now all we need to do is tie this to the to the ground. Okay. So now I'm going to take my needle nose and I'm going to try to get a get a bend bent and bent where it'll just drop right in there there you go now we're gonna put it right in there where it belongs pretty much perfect
push it down. That, that's got it, boys, girls. Let's tighten it up. So now we've bonded all of that fancy neutral bonding terminology. That's tight. Let's double check this one. All that fancy terminology. It's nothing but this here. So we put our screws back together. And we're going to go plug it in and find out if we're going to blow something up or not. Now let's just check the continuity just to make sure we uh, we'll go ahead and ohm it. We'll ohm it and see right now what we're saying is that if I remember correctly this is my neutral uh, yeah ground okay so we have zero ohms we're open there. That's what we want. That's exactly what we want. Alright. So there's my adapter right there. Go ahead and plug it in. Alright. Now what I'm going to do before we get to the we got 54 seconds left. Looks like it's going to work. Because before I put that bonding plug in there, I get an immediate error. In fact, let's pull it out and see what happens. We've still got a delay right now. Yeah, you see it's showing an open ground now. Okay, now I'm going to put it back in. Okay, let's plug it back in and see. We've got our ground, our bonding ground in. Alright, let's put the power to it. Okay. Okay, there it is. Alright, so the power's on. The RV's on. It's showing zero volts and amps. 124 volts, zero amps, because there's really nothing on but the little battery charger. Okay, so there she is. 123 volts, 9 amps. going to go ahead and shut it down now and we're going to call this a good test. I appreciate you watching my video and uh, we'll catch you next time. Adios.